Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing your weekly May 23rd through the 31st of May. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we will get started here. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Sagittarius for the week of the 23rd through the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Death card wanted to pop there, but it didn't quite come out. Somebody's giving somebody the silent treatment, getting ready to walk away. Um, whoa. Somebody's got to release. You got to release somebody, something. Um, Ace of Cups is your bottom of the deck. So new beginnings. Oh my gosh, Ace of, Ace of Wands. And holy cow. Look at that. Three Aces. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. All at the bottom of your um, deck. Wow. With Judgment and the High Priestess under that. Okay, so definitely new beginnings coming this week. Definitely um, emotional um, abundance. A new passionate beginning. Truth and clarity bringing you out of a fog, out of a funk. That is amazing, Sagittarius. Um, three aces at the bottom. That is just insane. Um, let me just get some clarifiers here. Ooh. Okay. Bottom of the clarifying decks, the Ten of Wands. Ending of a cycle, ten. Um, you also got a ten on the ground, so... Um, somebody's laying down the burden of this relationship where you were lied to, um, cheated on, betrayed, and you're not giving this person a second chance. Um, okay, let me see here. So, um, you guys have the emperor on the backside. You're turning your back. You're turning your back to somebody from your past, somebody that at one time emotionally fulfilled you. Um, but no longer serves your highest good. You're, um, you're moving forward because you know that this person is not good for you. So you are turning your back on them. Could be with an airy smile or you're turning your back on a family member. Could be a father figure. But um, either way, you're walking away from this person. You're walking away because you're tired of the fight. You're tired of the... Um, energy where nobody wins. It's just a heartbreak after heartbreak. It's like you guys are going back and forth hurting each other. But the Wheel of Fortune is here and you know it's time for you to move on. You know it's time for this journey, part of your journey to end and to um, come into a new path and a new um, a new outlook on life. The, the wheel is turning. It's in the upright so good karma is coming your way and your karmic debts have been paid. Um, you are walking away from this old person, the old person you used to be. You're laying down this energy where um, you were taken advantage of, you were mistreated. You are no longer that old, that person. You are, um, you're just changing. You're coming into a new you. You're transforming. You're, um, you're allowing the death of the old you. And you've been very patient. This has been very hard for you. Patience is hard for Sagittarius. Your fire sign, you like things now, you know. Um, but you have learned this. You have learned this karmic lesson of patience. For some of you, you have a choice to make. Um, for a group of you, you have refused to move on from a situation that is no longer emotionally satisfying, but you have been so emotionally invested in that you've been holding on too tight. 
Um, but that is coming to an end. You are now realizing that you're going to choose you. You're going to choose what's best for you. You're going to choose to move forward. And you're going to leave behind the situation or the person that um, emotionally drained you. You then are going to... Um, you're going to come back into contact with a soulmate. Um, this could be a twin flame just because I have temperance down here right next to it. Um, there's going to be contact from somebody from your past, um, possible earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But um, when you split from this person of your past, it really turned your world upside down. It made you feel like you couldn't stand on your own two feet. It took the wind out of your lungs, you know. It just took everything out of you. This person is coming back to you um, for a reconciliation. Like I said, you have temperance. So um, you have mastered the art of balance. You have self-healed. You have um, worked so very hard to tame the lion within and to go on a more divine path. Um, and in this, you have come to a new sense of stability. You. Um, you can take care of yourself. You don't rely on anyone else for your happiness. Um, you're just very well grounded, loving, nurturing, and healed. And that's why you're, uh, that's why reconciliation is coming back for you with that soulmate or twin flame. Um, and you are healed from this tower moment. This already happened. This is what caused the burden. This is the last three years of your life I'm getting for a group of you. The last three of your life three years of your life have been one tower moment after another um, linked to somebody who was toxic in your energy um, somebody who was uh, codependent somebody who had addictions uh, somebody who didn't treat you right who was just pure toxic you have worked so very hard to get past this and to heal and you have successfully released this devil energy you are going to, um, you have been doing a lot of self-reflection, a lot of introspection, um, thinking about what it is that went wrong, how it went wrong, why it went wrong, and I'm going to do everything right to fix it. You walked away from everybody that you had to walk away from. You cut out everybody um, from your life that was not um, bettering it during this time, and you have been... Um, and you have ascended to a higher level of your spirituality. You are coming out of this hangman um, a better person, a different person, a more grounded, stable, healthy, nurturing, loving person. And, um, and you're ready for that reconciliation with that earth sign. Um, could be a Sagittarius also. Um, water sign, Capricorn. Yeah, we got just about everybody here but air signs. Uh, no air signs heart-to-heart -heart conversation honestly discuss your feelings with each other this is with that soulmate that's coming back into your life they're going to be reaching out to you this week I'm guessing around the 25th or 26th they're gonna reach out to you uh, and want to um, meet you want to talk uh, and they're gonna want to reconcile with you they may not be healed though just as a forewarning you have to let go of control issues um, that's also hard for Saggies. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Don't force anything. Don't get that inch and try to take a mile. Because it's time for you to disconnect from the world, which I feel you have been doing with this. Um, so this is more of a past energy card. But most of all, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to receiving the higher energy um, of this soulmate, of this twin flame. Because they are back for real this time. They are wanting to be with you. They have picked you. They have chose you. They know now what it is that makes them happy, what it is that fills their cup, and that's you. Um, that's you, Saggies, right here. They are picking you. They are getting over this tower moment as well. But you're letting this go, your past, your history, the last three years of your life. You're putting that down, and look what you're getting. I mean, the Ace of Swords... I must have mixed those up somehow. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. That's what's coming to you with your soulmate. So this is a definite twin flame or soulmate uh, 
person, if you don't feel you're in that journey, then I'm sorry, this message isn't for you this week. But um, hopefully next time I can connect with you also, check your uh, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So uh, Sagittarius, you guys have an amazing week coming up. Um, lots of um, new beginnings, lots of fresh starts. Um, and that most of all, that person that you are reconciling with, um, you will uh, come back together with. So um, very exciting for you guys. It's, this is going to be, I feel for a group of you, this weekend is going to be a huge um, energy change, energy shift when Sagittarius, or when the moon moves into Sagittarius. Um, things are going to just turn in such an amazing direction for you. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys this week. If you, if this isn't, didn't resonate, check your other signs. I hope you have a beautiful end of May, and I will see you in June. God bless.